Hey everyone, Troubleshooter here. Today we're tackling a common issue. Your phone gets stuck in a boot loop after installing a Magisk module. Don't panic. In most cases, you can fix it yourself. If you had the foresight to enable USB debugging in developer options before installing the module, then fixing the boot loop is easy. If you didn't have USB debugging enabled, don't worry. There's still a chance to fix the boot loop. Research your phone's safe mode key combination. This will vary depending on your phone model. Some common combinations include holding the volume down button, volume up button, or both during boot. Hold the safe mode key combination while turning on your phone. Boot into safe mode. This disables all Magisk modules, allowing you to boot normally. Yesterday, I released a video showing how to fix a boot loop caused by a kernel SU module. This method is very similar but for Magisk modules. Connect your phone to your PC with a USB cable. Open a command prompt or terminal window on your PC, type ADB devices and press enter. This checks if your device is recognized. If you see your device listed, proceed to the next step. Type ADB shell Magisk, remove modules and press enter. This command tells Magisk to remove all installed modules and then reboot your phone automatically. When you enter safe mode, Magisk detects it and creates a file called disable within the modules directory. This disables the modules on the next normal boot. Once in safe mode, you can access your phone. Open the Magisk Manager app if accessible and uninstall the problematic module you suspect caused the boot loop. Reboot your phone normally. This time, with the modules disabled, your phone should boot up properly. If these methods don't work, there are more advanced solutions that might involve flashing your device's stock firmware. If you're still stuck, feel free to leave a comment below with your phone model and I'll try my best to point you in the right direction. Remember, there's usually a way to fix a boot loop.